I was in foster care for nine years. It was very sad knowing that you don't have your real, your real family there to hold you and say they love you and all of that. And one point they said that I was gonna max out in foster care and I didn't want that. So Ms. that's when Miss Chelsea came along and told me that that she's with the agency that helps kids to get adopted. She was so excited. She was like, when am I gonna see you next? <laughs> When's our next visit? And it was exciting for me to see that she wanted a permanency. She reached under her mattress and she gave me a folded up letter that was folded maybe like 20 times <laughs> and she handed it to me and she's like, I think on this letter are some of my family members' names and numbers, but here you go. And she slid it to me. A few weeks later, Miss Chelsea, she was like, I got some good news for you. She was like, well, I have a family member, she's your aunt, that she wants to see if she can adopt you. I had no clue she was in foster care until she told me. And it was really shocking and it was heartbreaking to know that that's where she was and no one knew. I was always to myself, but when I got around my mom and my rest of my family, I started opening up, actually talking to people, not being sad. I feel strong. She has so much confidence now. Oh, now she is full of joy, full of excitement. She, I have seen her change dramatically since first meeting her. We know Kenya is gonna go to college. She wants to be a veterinarian. I know I'm gonna be a veterinarian because I have people by my side who's gonna help me. My adoption has changed my life a lot.